welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. This is going to be the first in a series of videos I plan on making, uh, which is going to be a complete build from one end to the other for a 175 gallon reef, marine reef system that I'm building for a client. Uh, I'm going to start off with um, this video, which is going to be the filtration system. The story behind this filter is I, uh, about 15 years ago, I had a client that was building a tank for, and he had very expensive cabinetry and very expensive flooring and his only real concern was making sure that no water ever got on anything. So I had to design a filter system that did not rely on uh, washers or any sort of system that I think that had any chance of failing. So I came up with this and in the 15 years that have followed, uh, that filter has not leaked and also I have built it for many other systems. All the tanks you see in the clips in this video are uh, tanks that use this filtration system. Uh, I originally just started using them for freshwater tanks because it wasn't terribly, uh, well, it's, it's, it's a new system. Anytime you start off with a new system, you have to try it out. And over the years, it has proven itself. And I've used it for marine tanks, I've used it for freshwater tanks, i used it for reef tanks. Uh, none of the clips, uh, or the tanks shown here, are tanks uh, younger than two years, and some are as old as about ten years. I found that this filtration system had very good biochemical properties, which I will probably go into in another video. Um, the initial build for this will just be the build part, and I will do um, the installation and the final fits for all the plumbing uh, when I actually build the tank. Um, that will be uh, after the video basically for the stand. So probably about the third or fourth video uh, I will get into the installation for this and then later on after the tank is uh, up and running I will also get into how to maintain it. But for now let's get into the build. And this is all the piping and fittings that you're going to need for this build. This is uh, going to turn into this and I'm going to show you how to do that. First we're going to take all the four inch white uh, PVC fittings and piping and uh, the small black connectors and we're going to cut them down to the right sizes for this particular build. Uh, the small connector pieces are uh, three inches that would be uh, the small white ones you see there and the piping for this build, see now it's going to be a 76 inch tank those are uh, four feet long which will uh, come up to about six feet once we add in the, the four end caps. This is one of the end caps before uh, the assembly bit. Uh, I use uh, gray PVC pipe uh, cement. It's basically PVC in an acetone base. Uh, the reason why I use gray in, uh, on white is because I want to make sure that I have a very good coating. Like I said, this is important because it's, uh, this is a leak proof build. So I give everything a very good coating. And then I can see exactly as you see here that uh, all the parts are covered. And then again, I do it on the other piece. It is important when you put these two pieces together not to twist or turn or uh, force it too much because you want the glue to do the job. So just force, it, uh, press it down gently until you get halfway, and then you're done. That's it. You can see the rim of gray, and that gray shows you that the that the bond is all good. Now we'll do the same for the bushing here which cuts it down from four inches to inch and a half and we'll put that on both sides again same as before and again with even pressure we will seat this but in this case we'll seat it all the way down and then once it's there just relax and then you're done now there's going to be four of these, but two of them are going to have this end cap that I'm going to install now left off because we actually have to fill this thing with filter media. And because I have to transport this filter to the clients before um, I assemble it, uh, that part will actually be done later on. So for the moment I'll just show you how to cap this one particular piece and then we'll uh, do the final assembly on site. Again, just a matter of coating as evenly as possible. You don't have to worry about drips on the inside. I try to limit the amount of drips on the outside that I get, 
but periodically you'll see as in here this uh, you'll get a little bit of smear and it's just a matter of uh, turning it till it dries or if you're very picky about it as I am sometimes I wipe them off and there you go that's the final assembly for one of the end caps I'll repeat this process three more times and then we'll add on the four foot piece of pipe and then we'll glue on the final end cap on the other side now all the plumbing for the inch and a half PVC as in here I just friction fit them all because this has to come apart I have to move this to the site and then assemble it this is the other end uh, again with the uh, end caps not glued on it you can see them separated there and this is the whole filter as it will appear eventually but for the moment it is just here uh, held in place I apologize for this build going over more than one video but these things have to be done in sequence uh, when I get to the clients I have to be able to install this filter into the cabinet and the cabinet uh, has only a certain amount of space and when it's fully assembled the filter won't fit and I want to maximize the amount of filtration I get so I have to build it uh, in pieces and then transport it also the media for this filter is currently being cured so I don't want to lose any of the bacteria in that and the longer I uh, have between uh, the actual assembly and the time I fire it up the more bacteria die and that just means I have to wait longer before I can start putting fish and such in it. The end result is this uh, build will uh, stretch over two more videos I suspect. Videos three and four. Uh, the next video is going to be the build for the structural part of the stand and then I will proceed to building the tank and such and installing the filter and so on and so forth. So for now thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everybody, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please slap a like below, or if you want to see more of this type of video or some of my other work, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you there. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.